Have you ever wanted to start bird watching in your elementary classroom? This video is for you. So you might remember a while back, I posted a video on how a Teachers Pay Teachers product helped me win a bird watching trip to Maine. I started bird watching reluctantly with my kindergartners back when I was teaching kindergarten because my dear old dad was like, hey, you have the perfect window outside of your classroom. And I really did at the time. It was the kind of window that was at ground level and you could just swing it open. And he was kind enough to put a bird feeder out there. And I started bird watching with my kindergartners. And from that, I made lesson plans and daily bird watching activities to go along with it. So if you've thought about bird watching, maybe you were reluctant like I was, I'm here to tell you your students will love it. And if you have a good spot to put a bird feeder, it just takes a little bit of time and your students will love it. So here's some tips to start bird watching in your elementary classroom. Okay, so first you can introduce the concept of bird watching. Um, I have a product in my Teachers Pay Teachers store that will help you do that. I'll leave a link below and there are uh, little poster boards that explain what bird watching is and you can teach your students about just general concept of what birding is to begin with. And there's daily activities so they can follow along and record the birds that they're seeing. So it's really interactive. And like I said, I've used it in kindergarten. I think it works with any age level. Even if your students are not writing quite yet, they can draw a picture of the bird that they see. Okay, you can also set up a designated bird watching area. My current classroom does not have, it has a window, but it's on the second floor and it faces the roof. So I, this year, I don't have that luxury, but if you have a place even at your school where you could put a bird feeder and maybe take time each week to go watch the birds and see what lands there, or you could even set up a camera that could film them maybe with an iPad or something out of a window. I don't know how you could do it if there's not a great spot, but I do think there's a lot of options for setting up a bird feeder and hopefully you have a great window for that. Okay, next, providing students with little binoculars or something so that they can watch is really cool. It makes them feel like a total bird birder, as they say, bird watcher and letting them really immerse themselves in bird watching. It is a great way to expose them to nature. I know my students um, in the past hadn't had a lot of experience with nature, and so they were just fascinated by what landed. They would even stop me in the middle of a lesson, Mrs. Wadley, look what just landed. And I loved it because they were so into it. You can also introduce common birds found in your area. In my state, we have a conservation department magazine that's put out every month and there's one for kids as well. And I have that sent to me at my house and then I bring it to school. So there's always common birds inside of that. I'm sure your state has that as well. And I would highly recommend having that so you can talk about the different birds that are in your area. And it's just so important for kids to recognize nature around them for where they live, because oftentimes we don't get a lot of time to talk about that and birds are a great way to introduce that. Okay, so encouraging your students to uh, learn more about birds in general and like the actual birds in their area is definitely a great way to start doing that. Okay, I would also encourage your students to maybe make a project with bird watching and they can do that with the product I was talking about below or you could come up with something on your own that would encourage them to start it as a daily habit at home. Maybe they're making their own bird watching journal and they could have it at home and they could come and show you every week or daily what they saw. I know this is really motivating to some students, so I would encourage you to have some kind of journal. Maybe you have the journal in your classroom by the bird watching window and anybody can record in it and you guys look at it once a week. This could turn into a writing project. So many different things could happen just because of this one little piece and it's just going to get your students really engaged. Bird watching is great also if you don't have any classroom pets, you don't really want a classroom pet. I've talked about this before, I have a whole classroom pet series and birding is a great way to dip your toe in the water where you don't have to actually take care of something on a daily basis but rather just filling a bird feeder whenever it needs to be but you're also exposing your students to nature firsthand. You could also, big picture, set up a bird watching club if you really got into it. It could be something that you did after school with students and invite more grade levels to join. I've actually thought about doing this one myself, especially if your school has a nature area by it. It would just be the perfect club 
in the springtime, perhaps the fall, whenever the weather's decent, to go outside and do all of these fun activities. Let me know in the comments below, have you ever tried birding in your classroom? Did your students like it? And if you've never tried it, let me know too, are you gonna give it a whirl? Remember, I didn't wanna do it at first. I thought, oh, why would I wanna do that? And I ended up loving it, went on a trip to Maine, studied about birds, got to bring that information back to my students and had a blast doing so. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out the links in the description box below. And if you wanna try birding, the, the bird watching unit I have would be perfect for you to get started. I'll see you next time.